today's video, we are doing the Skibbity Toilet Drawing Challenge. We're going to watch a professional draw a Skibbity Toilet artwork, and then we're going to try and do it ourselves. Just how good is my drawing ability? Are you ready? Let's go! So this is the first drawing that we are making, and wow, I can already see who it is. This is the Titan Speaker Man. But how much detail are they going to add? Guys, I need to tell you, I've got something to admit. I didn't go to art school. I was never an artist, you know. I never did this stuff. I, I don't even know how to draw a horse. I make a horse look like a duck. So this is going to be a very rough challenge for me. Dude, they're doing the outlines now. Dang. So yeah, I'm going to have to try and do <laughs> do all of that. Um, Yeah. That's, uh, that's gonna be tough, guys. I, hopefully I can do this. Maybe I'll be able to do the drawing part, but, uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Look at this buff guy, though. Hopefully, you know what? I could do that if that's it. If they just finish right here, I could do it. They'll finish right here. Okay, right, okay, no, no, they're making, oh, no, they're adding, oh, wow, they're adding shading, okay. When they add shading, I'm like, okay, I'm done for. But they make him look so cool. Guys, this looks so dang cool. That is incredible! Wow! That is wild! Dude, how much more is there? Dude, is this they're gonna shade every bit of him to make him look ultra realistic? That's what they're gonna do. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're making him look so real. By, by adding the extra shading, they make it look like it's shadowed versus the light. And wow, the talents here are incredible. But I'm sure we could try and do this. Like, we can do this. We got this, right? We could do something that cool. And we're about to. You're about to find out. I'm about to do the best Titan Speakerman drawing of my entire life. Dude. Wow. He even makes it look like the speakers are 3D. That is so cool. That is so impressive. Look at that artwork. Wow. The Titan Speakerman looks so cool. Oh, wow. That looks legitimately realistic. But here we go. Now we need to make our own version of this. Okay, so let's get drawing. So I've got the, the speaker man right here. And we're going to start with... Let's start with his arm poking out here. So we're going to poke his arm out. And it goes onto the shoulder. And then it sort of like goes up into a speaker. And then it goes like up. And then it goes like... And then we got the other speaker. And then you got the shoulder. So okay, I think we're just going to do the, the head of the Titan speaker man. So this is the speaker. Uh, I think the I think the, we also have like a big speaker up here. Oh yeah, this is looking good. And then this one has like a little in-depth thingy here. So it has that and then that. And then we got like this this weird T section in the middle where it's like it goes down like this, and then it goes up here, and it's a T. But at the top of the T is a giant red glowy uh, eyeball. So the red glowy eyeball goes whoop. Look at that. Look at that beautiful eyeball. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> That's incredible. And it also has like an orangey section in the middle. So we're going to also add a little orangey section. So then we get like a red circle up here. We get a red circle. And we get another red circle. We need another big woofer man over here, like a speaker. And then attached to him is like this other speaker boombox looking thing. So we're going to go like, uh, uh, and then it goes out like this. Uh. And then we add in the big red orangey glowy thing. And that's like a 3D object. So to make it 3D, we're going to do something like that. And we'll do something like that. And then look, it looks 3D. I d okay, that does not make it look 3D. And now we just got to do his uh, his shirt, right? Blob, 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 blob. Oh, perfect. Blob, 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 blob. Okay, very good, very good. And... And there we go, guys! We officially have our Titan Speaker Man! Honestly, I'm quite impressed with myself. Isn't it amazing? It's incredible! Comment down below what you think of it. Next up, we have the Titan Camera Man. Now, this guy is a big hunker bonker. This guy has a big jetpack. He has blue, a blue light for his head. And he's, he's also very beefy and bulky. He has a black trench coat. And <laughs> he's so incredible that I had to sneeze. Wow. Dude, this is going to be insane. They're already doing the coloring as well. 
while they're doing it, okay, I don't know if I'll be able to do those fine lines with the jetpack. Oh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be quite difficult. But hey, I'm confident I'm gonna be able to do an amazing Titan cameraman. Look at that. The majority of him's just his, like, trench coat. Look at that. Look, that is so cool. I'm looking forward to doing his blue light. I think that's what we'll try to do first. We'll try to do his big head first. But wow, he has a lot of detail on him. They add so much detail to this guy. It is crazy the amount of detail they add. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Look at that. Wow. Dude, the Titan cameraman is so sick. In Skibbity Toilet he is as well. But in drawing, he just looks even better. He's got the arc reactor, he's got the head and everything. Dude, this is so cool. And then they added the, they're adding the shading to make him look even cooler as well. The shading just really makes it pop, everyone. It is so crazy just what they can do with the shading there. Like, it's like, wow! It's like, wow! I do not get it, but th that is so dang cool. That is so dang cool! I love it. I love it! I love it! Dude, look at that. Whoa! Okay, so I know I said I start with the head, but then I figured the hands would actually be a bit the best place to start. Because the hands are so much better uh, to, as a starting point, because they let you, like, know where the rest of it is. And then up into him, and then this one goes down, and it's up into this buff boy. Oh, actually, you know what? We should bring this down a bit. We're gonna bring this down, because we need room for his head, and if we don't have room for his head, that'll be very awkward. But we're gonna put the blue glow right about here. Perfect, the blue glow. And now we can just do everything around his blue glow. And this guy's got little speakers inside as well, like the other one, okay. And he's got this little antenna on top, so we'll go uh, down, across, and then up. And then he's got a couple extra, like, weird angled, angular things, so we'll go like, boink, doink. Doink, 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 doink. We're gonna add in, like, a light gray shade over here. We're gonna add in some, like, darker gray shading over here. His back goes up, and then his rounded shoulders come around. That goes down, and then he, his back goes back like that. Okay. And then the rest of his body sort of just fades in like this and goes down like that. Perfect, perfect. We're gonna go add a little bit of our, our own brown over here. So to show that this is a part of his trench coat, we're gonna put some, like, sh uh, dark wrinkles on it. To show that, you know, it's a wrinkled, wrinkled coat. Look at that. Just, just like they do here. Okay. And then we're also going to just fill this in with, like, darkness as well. Because there it goes like that. Perfect. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Let's put in some, um, like, you know, finger creases over here. So, like, that's his knuckles. And finally, we got to add in the jetpack. So, now we just do, like, a zoom. That's, like, one of the, the burners, you know, of the jetpack. That looks like an, that looks exactly like a jetpack. That's, like, something my grandfather rode. There we go. And then finally, we just gotta fill in the Titan Cameraman's Titan Cameraman areas. And there we go! We officially have the Titan Cameraman! Honestly, I do not see a difference between this one and the original one. Great work! And now, we have... Who is this? Oh, I think I know who this is. Guys, this is the G-Man Toilet! We have to draw the G-Man Toilet! This is gonna be an insane drawing. Oh, I'm excited. Dude, look at this madman. This guy looks awesome. And th with the drawing of this channel, they just get, they draw so well. And it's gonna look so cool. Guys, do you think we're gonna be able to draw this well? How do you think this is gonna go with our drawings? I think we're gonna do a one-to-one -one replica of this artwork. This artwork is going to be incredible. Wow. What is- the shading looks weird. It looks like- it's so weird. Like, the shading looks weird while they're doing it, but the finished product always looks, like, so good. It always looks amazing in the end. Like, look, it looks like they're giving him a little beard right now, but that's just his mouth! That's wild! Dude, I wish I could draw like that. Look, I'll be the first to admit, maybe my drawings could use a little bit of improving. They're close to perfection, but they're not quite there yet. Wow. Guys, would, are you able to draw better than me? Let me know down below. I want to know what, like, the, the cool things that you guys have drawn yourselves. Wow. Dude, that is so cool. Look at this guy. That is sick. 
and he's got his own jetpack. Oh, boy, we have to draw another jetpack. Oh, boy. But, hey, I think this is doable. I'm excited to draw this guy. Okay, so for the G-Man toilet, the first thing we're going to draw is his big old toilet bowl because that'll give us the proportions that we need for the whole thing. So watch this. It's going to come out like this. Oh, uh, no, it goes around quite quickly. So it's a big turnaround, and then it goes back in. And then we're going to have the net coming out. So we're, do we're doing this in a bit of a strange way, but I dig it. You know, it's a good way. So let's let's have the neck, like, popping out. So the neck comes out kind of almost straight. So it's like that, right? The, the neck comes out, and then it's like, blah. Okay, now we can draw the head. So it goes up, and then we get the ear. So there's going to be the ear of the G-Man toilet. Perfect. And then we got to do, like, black for the rest of the head. So this one comes out a bit, and then it's like, it's a sort of squarish head. That's the thing. This guy has a very square-like head. Okay, and then it comes back to skin from around here. So it kind of comes down, and he has that little thing, and then he goes down. He's got, got the, the smile, and he goes, there's his chin, and his chin like that. And now we're going to do the eyebrows, because the G-Man toilet ain't nothing without his eyebrows. So we're going to go like, his eyebrows are sort of here, and then like, they come up, and then they come down immediately. So it's like that. And then like, it's like, blah, and then blah. And then it goes like, blah, over his eyeball and then back. And then we're gonna get his little eyeballs. So we're gonna like do a little, what are we gonna do? Like, they're kind of tiny eyeballs. They're, they're pretty small. So we're just gonna go like that. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. And this one like sort of, this one goes a bit weird. This one goes like down and like that. And then like this is sort of like that. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. His hairline, it goes like, yeah, it's got a bit of graze in there. But let's go doink, okay? And then we're gonna go like, it goes, it goes a bit like And then it goes like Perfect, that, that's, that's his hairline right there. So let's go doink, 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 doink. The nose goes like, uh, it starts, you know, almost in between the eyes and it goes like And down and out, it goes quite far as well. So it goes down and then it goes over here and it goes down. He's got a big old nose. And it goes, like, back up to there. Honestly, I think that's the closest thing we've gotten so far to being perfect. <laughs> Which is great. And we got the mouth. Now, the mouth is the scary part, guys. This is the make or break. Because the G-Man's mouth is just so important. So we're gonna start with that. And then it comes in. And then down. And then it lips across. And then it goes back into the, back into the body. The lips come out from here. And then they go, like, down. And then up. And then they sort of go back up here and then like there's a lot more lip around here. oh wow that's a silly lip and it goes like it, it's like more like that yeah 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 now we can do the rest of the toilet officially so now this toilet comes here and this just goes into the neck more because uh, we don't need to worry about the other side but this one goes down and then there's like a lot more toilety stuff around there so we'll just go like that and then we're gonna uh let's get the let's get the roof of the toilet so it goes up like that and then it goes across, you know, into his hair. There we go. Oh, now that's a creepy G-Man toilet. <laughs> Look at that G-Man toilet. Look at him and fear him. And he has like the blue eyes as well. Perfect. Now we got to get the, the we got to get some body armor on top of him. Now his body armor is like a, a navy pub, a navy blue. So we're gonna go like that. We're gonna go like this, and we're gonna get some body armor. It goes down and then diagonal, and then like across and up diagonal. Kind of like that. Yeah, pretty much like that. So, boink, boink, boink. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect body armor. And then finally, he has the jetpack attached. So, it, all, it sort of goes down in a bunch of squares first, like that. So, we're just going to do the squares. And then he has the actual jetpack, the tubular jetpack attached. So, it goes down like this. And then it sort of like comes out. And it goes like... And it goes like up again and back here. And then it goes up to the top. And then coming out of here, there's like another little slice of jetpack that goes down and then this turns into like a little triangle. A triangle of jetpaculence. And then all we need to do is fill in the final squares. Oh, whoopsie daisies. Oh, here we go. Boink, 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 boink. And there we go! We officially have our G-Man toilet! Very cool if I do say so myself. But guys, we've got one final challenge! And this one may be the hardest yet. Can you guess who this is going to be? Let me know down below as soon as you work it out. Who is this? I think you know by now. But I won't spoil it. This one is still a skibbity toilet. 
It is not a titan. Guys, this one is the doctor toilet. This one is going to be wild because the doctor toilet has so many attachments. Oh, this is going to be an insane drawing battle. Dude, this is going to be wild. Look at that. Please, make it easy. It needs to be easy. Wow. Dude, and the forehead. Look at that big wrinkly forehead. That's Mr. Wrinkles for you. Mr. Wrinkles, the doctor. He's a wrinkly man. Oh, look at the teeth. Those teeth are so gross, but he's got like a big old yellow light. He's got the Titan Speaker Man's equipment. He's got the Titan TV Man's equipment. He's got all this equipment, and he's one of the strongest skibbity toilets in the entire universe. He's so strong and powerful and scary as well. He is a scary dude. Okay, look at that. And he's still got more speakers. He's still got more speakers. They're still drawing speakers. Wow. Guys, the amount of attention to detail they put in this is insane. And so let's finish with this doctor toilet. So firstly, we're going to get black and we're going to do the speakers first. So boom, we're going to go like this. We're going to go down and we're going to try and really make sure that these speakers are going to fit well into our drawing. Okay, it goes up and then it goes like in. And then it, this one goes in as well. Oh, no, this one goes in a bit. And then this one connects to another big old boombox speaker, which goes down like that and then across to here. Okay, perfect. And now we officially have the, the, the speakers up and running. Now we can officially start work on the actual doctor. Now, this guy has some very, very light, pale-looking skin. Uh, how do I... I don't even... I, I barely even know where to find that color. Like, where, where does one even find that type of color? I think it's, like, in between yellowish and reddish. I think it's around here, so... Now let's draw him. So we're gonna have the head popping out here. So we're gonna go like draw, and then like we got we got the ear going up, and we got the big old wrinkly forehead, and then it comes down, and we got like a tiniest bit of shaded ear, and then it goes back down inside. Perfect. So now we can draw like a full. We can add in full blackness here, full total black mouth. Oh, that's so creepy. And then we're gonna add in like some dark teeth. So reducing the size a bit, we're gonna get the teeth going around, and then the teeth come up, okay, and then we got the bong, bong, those are the teeth, and then on the inside of those, we're gonna add in some proper white, all of that, okay, those are, those are, those are definitely not the, uh, the teeth that I'd be thinking, but that's okay, let's move on to the next thing before we start questioning it too much, and let's get the, let's, let's get the glasses going, so he's got some glasses going around here, and then they go into a big, ooh, a big old eyeball, they go into a big eyeball, then they go across the nose, and they get another big one, and then they go back behind this ear over here. They go back over there. Perfect. And then we're gonna get the eyes inside. So now we're gonna get like a, we're gonna get the slight gray. We're gonna go down. We're gonna make the big old eyeball. So it goes like, rah, and it goes, rah. And he's got a, he's got slightly greenish eyes. So we're gonna do massive green <laughs> because I know I said slightly, slightly greenish, but then we just chose the most green looking color we could actually find. And we're gonna go across again. No, these ones are just pure black. This is just a pure black eyeball. So we're just gonna go like up and down. And then we're gonna go down and up like this. And then we're gonna fill it with pure blackness. He's got a more normal nose compared to uh, the, the G-Man toilet. Although with my artwork, it probably looks like it's gonna be even worse. So boink, boink. There we go. And then we gotta make the nose like come up around him, of course. And then we're gonna finally fill this in. We're gonna fill this in. We're gonna fill that in. Uh, and then we're gonna make the eyeballs, you know, fill that in there, fill that in there, fill in the ears, fill in the- Oh, jeez, that was weird. Fill in the earballs. Perfect. Now let's just do the toilet. So that one's very easy. This one's super simple for a professional artist like myself. We just go down, and then we just bring this one, like, up the- up the back. This one goes, like, up the back, and then, like, it goes- and then he's got like an extra bit coming up here and it goes well it, it's more like it goes like up and then down like that and then we can fill that in because that's the back of the toilet and we, we he has a little like extra bit where he comes out here this this beat pretty much makes the piece because this one goes like it shows that there's a distinction between the toilet and himself so we put that there and we're gonna fill that in and then of course he has some weird spikes coming off of it so we're just gonna like put one spike over here we're gonna put like a, another big old spike heading off the camera out there another oh that, that would look weird no but that one would look weird that, like this and then it goes like that and then it goes 
goes down and then it continues down and it goes back into there. No, it'll, go, it'll continue down a bit, then it'll go back up into the spike holder. And then we're gonna fill these in to show that they're all spiky. They're all spiky like spikes. And then they got a little like conglomerate section of spikes over here. So we're gonna get that and they're not coming off of it, a whole bunch of other spikes. Little, little instruments of chaos and destruction. And perfect! We have fit. Oh wait, no, 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 we, we forgot one thing! The most important thing, the little light bulb that comes off his ear. So we've got like the little light, then it goes like up and then and, and zoom. And then it goes like, it stays like that. Then we're gonna have it go zoom. And it goes, it reattaches to that. So all of this can fill in. Now remember, it's behind the eye, the, the ear. So we don't have to worry about the ear getting hit by it. But it goes over the ear when it's up here. Oh, that is great. That is great. That's my favorite part I've done yet. And then we got the big yellow light. The big yellow light. And boom! The Dr. Toilet's officially done! And there you go, everyone. That is all of our artworks compared to all all of the original which is your favorite artworks spoiler it's surely mine and let me know down below and i'll see you in the next video blocky